Uh, but uh, Manisha Gupta, our commodities editor, is now with us to tell us what she's tracking uh, today. Manisha, over to you. Thank you so much for that, Ekta. Well, I'm looking at the cotton prices and, uh, uh, you know, when you look at the last week in the international markets, we saw the global cotton prices gain up by 19%, which has been, by the way, the best weekly gain in 12 years. And the gains in the commodity markets clearly came in after markets believed that China perhaps will, uh, you know, re release or ease off the kind of restrictions that they have been putting on COVID, but that really did a U-turn and is the reason we have seen some profit taking come back in this case of these prices. But let's talk about the global prices and the Indian markets as well. Nivedan Churiwal is MD at BSL and he joins us on the show to do exactly that. Uh, Mr. Churiwal, hi, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, on the kind of volatile moves that we've seen in cotton prices internationally in India as well as industry, uh, is it stabilizing now? Well, uh, as you rightly mentioned, the cotton prices have been extremely volatile for the past year. The candy prices started at around 40,000 and from there it went up to over a lakh rupees and today it is hovering in the range of between 60 to 65,000. It would uh, still be risky to make a forecast or prediction as to where these prices would go from here. But it does look that with the uh, new crop coming in, it should stabilize around this price because Stability is what is most important uh, in order to secure more business, whether it is from the international markets or it is from local markets. And earlier, we were all expecting that with the prices coming down, the demand would increase. But um, even if it's almost a 40% correction, mm. the demand of yarn from the international markets has not gone up as we had expected. So I think uh, we are all very hopeful with the new crop coming in. The prices should stabilize around the current prices or maybe 5 10 percent plus or minus. Okay. And with that ability, uh, the demand for yarn from the Western markets mm. should start coming. Mr. Shurival, as you mentioned, that the yarn exports really have been quite dismal. We do understand there's a 50 percent of a decline onto that one. And that is the reason perhaps there's a textile ministry uh, meeting as well uh, with the stakeholders, with some of the industry and association heads as well. Uh, you, you, uh, how much of concern or how soon do you see the yarn exports or the yarn prices picking up? See, uh, up to first quarter of this year, mm. uh, the six, last six, seven quarters were exceptionally good for the cotton spinning industry. There was uh, unprecedented tailwinds and everyone posted staggering uh, unprecedented results. From the second quarter, things have uh, totally turned upside down. Q3, we expect to be a little better. And from Q4, we would expect that uh, situation should normalize. Now, you see, ultimately, the demand for cotton is going to be there. Presently, from the Western market, due to the uh, Ukraine-Russia situation, the energy crisis and so on. The demand is very low, but it is a commodity and it is a cycle. Eventually, it will come back to its peak sooner than later, which we are all very hopeful. Okay. And uh, if you look at the global perspective, the crops in Pakistan have failed, the crops in USA have failed, the cotton crop by almost 50%, and we are all well aware of the China plus one policy. So there is, there is no two ways about the fact that sooner or later, the demand for cotton from India will bounce back very strongly mm. and uh, at whatever price the cotton uh, raw material price is, the demand for yarn from India and garments, cotton-based products by and large, will uh, surge back hopefully sooner than later. All right. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Churiwal, for joining us. So, well, as, the, as prices go, 5 to 7 percent of a move up and down, but the demand growth is something that they're definitely expecting to come back in case of the segment there. Okay, thanks, Manisha, for that. Well, those are the Divi's numbers on your screen and it's looking like a